Hey there, Scorpio. How is it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be pulling you a few cards when it comes to December 2020. So uh, thank you all so much uh, for taking the time to comment and uh, your support. So I really do appreciate that. Also, too, thank you, Nicole, for allowing me to uh, come on here just to kind of introduce myself. And that's about that. So uh, Scorpios, for those that may be unfamiliar, I do not want to sound repetitive, but we do have to remember that somebody may be new here and unsure. It's like, there she goes again, the know-it-all, having answers for everything. I don't know everything, so I do apologize if I do uh, come across that way. You know, uh, this, this, Nicole's taught me a lot, all of you have taught me a lot, and I'm constantly learning. So, uh, let's see here, what do we have going on for our Scorpios when it comes to December 2020? Uh, also, too, you are a water sign, all right, ruling planet, I believe, was it like Mars and Pluto? So, let's just, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have this card right here. This is, uh, it says, the heart of the matter. There's more going on than what meets the eye. Uh, recognize what this is is all about all right let's get into it scorpios all right uh, i love my scorpios out there too uh people may be like well you know i'm a taurus they say uh you know that's the opposite sign so some of you could be working on a um like a love hate type of relationship i'm not sure uh or this could be uh it's almost reminding me uh back in school or you know back in the day whatever where somebody had a crush on you or vice versa and they would pick on you <laughs> uh scorpios too i've always said it too gorgeous eyes all right uh they've got a heart of gold if they only the special ones out there can see that truly if they uh like you if they trust you or I don't know if a Scorpio can ever actually really trust the person. Like, let's just get real. But that's what I love about them. They've got a very dry sense of humor. Um, you know, uh, kind of like a sick sense of humor. You know, and uh, very intimidating. Uh, you know, they can just look and know. And they will sit there and ask you uh, as many questions as they want to get to the bottom of things here. You know, and let's just get down to the heart of the matter here, recognizing what this is all about. So a lot of you may be having very vivid dreams, possibly uh, maybe even nightmares, night terrors, you know, waking up like, oh, not that dream again. <laughs> all right. Uh, you know, who out there, uh, feel free to also leave comments below here. Maybe you're studying dreams or have questions. Maybe you don't dream at all. You know, do pay attention to that as well. You know, Scorpios out there, they make the, the best detectives out there. Uh, what was that movie? When it's just like, you think your man, you think your woman uh, thinks you're cheating on you or whatever. You need the best detective out there. FBI, CIA ain't got S on a woman on a mission trying to figure out if her man is cheating on her or her woman, whatever it may be. You know, uh... I feel like the male Scorpios are a little bit more subtle uh, when it comes to it. Uh, great cooks. Scorpios are great cooks. Fun fact out there. Don't get into a Scorpio's kitchen and start telling them what to do, honey, because it'll be game over with. You know, uh, they are willing to take suggestions and stuff like that and just like, uh-huh, yep. Okay. Don't make me bring, bring, you know, that stinger out right there and the pinchers out. All right. Um, you know, very subtle. A, a lot of you two could have uh, jobs where you work at night and you're having to start switching your shift more towards the day. It, it's, it's odd because I've noticed it's like Scorpios are very hard workers too. Don't let them fool you. Even, um, 
you know, the ones that stay at home or maybe don't have a job, you know, they still, they've, they're, they're still doing stuff nonstop, either cleaning, doing laundry, you know, cooking, uh, you know, looking in on a particular situation, you know, uh, also too, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I, you know, I'm not a medical doctor or a lawyer or anything like that. Uh, they tend to have more sensitive skin. Uh, so be on the lookout for the detergents and, and stuff like that, that you're using. Shopping club, Nicole. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Carol, let's get on this here. I'm in boot camp right now, right? So I've got the readings for this channel. I've got the readings for mine. And then the class is on top of it. So I'm I'm pretty busy and she's keeping me on my toes. Come on, Carol. And so, it's just like, okay, all right. But she does it out of love. And that's why I respect her so much. She's really helped me and a lot of people. So uh, also too, check out her classes, you know, the best way, and Scorpios, what this has to do with you is the best way to deal with anger, too. She's got an excellent book, you know, find it out there on Amazon, okay? So if you're dealing with any haters, any trolls, whatever, or people that may be working with anger issues, she's got a great book. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else. So when you're, sh you're sleeping, too, um, it's almost like this. It's just like by the time you're so exhausted and able to finally get to sleep, Somebody comes on in just like, hey, could be the kids. Hey, hey, mom. Hey, dad. Hey, whoever. Uh, or, you know, somebody out, uh, out there starts making noises or whatever it may be. Or uh, it's just like, look at this. You know, your angels, your spirit guides, your higher self universe. This is actually within yourself. All right. However, the times that we're going through right now. We're having to, uh, it's just like we're looking for answers, looking for this, looking for that. You know, what's the meaning to life and this and that. The answers in the key lie within you. What does this have to do with relationships, honey? Okay. There's more going on than what meets the eye. And I know y'all love to ask questions, my Scorpios. Like I said, you make the best detectives. You know, when it comes... Um, Anything like that or, you know, your, your, your friends call you and they're just like, girl, guy, whatever. I don't know who, do you think they're cheating on me? And it's just like, all right, give me some more detail. You know when a Scorpio's mind starts churning and I love this about them because they get that like, you know, spark in their eye. Not saying they're about drama or anything like that, but they've had to deal with so much of it in the past that they are masters of figuring stuff out. Like I said, you know, do not get a Scorpio upset, honey. Um, yeah, so it's just like you get that, what should I do? And Scorpio is like, okay, give me all the details. And we're going to figure this out. Now, somebody out there may be like, yeah, right, Carolyn. Scorpios are cheaters. They're mean to me and they pick on me and bully me and this and that, this and that. All right. Let's, uh, when it comes to all of these signs, nobody is perfect. All right. And you can't necessarily say that, you know, a, a Scorpio is going to act like this or a Libra is going to act like this or, you know, a Virgo is going to act like this. Yeah, there are certain traits. However, everyone's different, all right? Uh, it's what works for you, what doesn't. However, this intuition, this guidance is within yourself. And honey, somebody's taking notice to you. And this is in a good way because I understand some of you are already uh, in a partnered up relationships. So again, whether your relationship is going uh, fabulous or mm, not so sure about that one, all right, Um recognize that possibly there's something else going on and not necessarily jumping to conclusions. And somebody out there may be like, Carolyn, I ain't jumping to conclusions, girl. All right, I picked up so-and-so's phone. Shh, don't tell anyone. And I kind of looked through it, and you should have seen what I found in that. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm not necessarily about spying and stuff, but what'd you see? You, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so... There may be something else going on. Plus, on the positive, we are in the holiday season here. Somebody may be secretly talking to somebody or, you know, going on these little missions or whatever. All right. Maybe to buy you a, a gift. <laughs> Maybe they want to surprise you. Scorpio. Okay. This is actually, please comment below. This is really what I want to know. Scorpios. All right. 
it's not like the whole world's going to see it or anything, but how many of you, uh, if you do celebrate, you know, uh, whatever holiday it may be, you know, and you start sneaking around trying to find your gifts, like what they get me, you start sneaking through the phone or sneaking through the closet, this or that, this or that. Now, I know we have some youngins that may be watching on here, this channel. All right. Um, how many of y'all have done that? Or how many of y'all are thinking about doing that? Like, hmm. You know, when uh, so-and-so is out there, we're going to try to find our gifts and what they got for us. My gosh, isn't it unbelievable, the technology that's out there? Uh, I, I can't even. Uh, you know, Scorpios are good when it comes to working with technology. However, if, you are, if you're dealing with, like, uh, Scorpio kids as well or, or any children, especially if they are indigo, uh, they are, they're very smart when it comes to technology. And it's just, like, they do... You've been trying to figure something out possibly for like a week or whatever. And they'll just come by. There you go. Five minutes. And they just walk off and just like, okay. Don't even uh, talk to me about homework or anything like that. I mm, Read changing math in this common core, stuff like that. Back to love. All right. Uh, big shout out to those that are in long-term relationships here. However, this is manifesting that perfect partner there. If you are interested in finding one, whether you are or not, ready or not, honey, here they come. Also to somebody with a locket, picture of somebody here. All right. Uh, possibly, you know, they wear around. This could be a past ancestor or something like that. Counting sheep to go to sleep. You know, uh, wow, you've lived a lot of lives here. Some of you are going to be meeting a cancer. So what's that all about, Scorpio? All right. Okay. Uh, that's wonderful. They are also a water sign as well. Uh, you know, I, I'm sensing like somebody meeting a cancer, cancer Scorpio relationship. And uh, it, it's just like this... Um, how do I put this? Uh, yeah. Very cool. I'm liking this. However, it's just like, you're too emotional. Well, you're a bee or you fly off the handle and you don't trust me. And who do you think you are? You're not going to use me as a verbal punching bag anymore. Somebody starts crying and just like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, and then next thing you know, it's just like, I'm so sorry, honey. So sorry. I never meant to. I, I like this. It's just like, is this is this gonna is this gonna be a person that's driving me nuts? It's good. It's driving you crazy in a good way, though. However, um, again, it's just like, don't be a backseat chef, though, to a Scorpio. Don't sit there and be like, you know, you should be using a little bit of extra salt. And I shouldn't even be saying this, but I mean, I, I'm not giving advice on how to get a Scorpio going, but you know, oh, could have used a little bit more of this. Uh, or you just start, you know, a Scorpio will walk away from whatever it was that they were cooking. You, you just go up and just start stirring it. Don't do stuff like that. Please don't. All right. Also, too, maybe uh, possibly working. So many of you may be meeting somebody at work if you still are able to physically get out there. Or maybe you're just quarantined and stuck together, stuck uh, to work out any issues that some of you may have gone through. And then, you know what? Those, that sleep, uh, that sleeping, dreaming. Some of you could have been in that hermit mode, either going through the sleepless nights or just that's all you want to do is sleep. However, Scorpios are a very busy person. However, look at this, this angel, this spirit guide, your higher self right here, universe, your inner knowing is just like, <laughs> okay, they want, they want the perfect relationship or to spice things up in their relationship. Should I stay? Should I go relationship? Let's have some fun with our Scorpios. And that next thing you know, you're sleeping, minding your own business, and then you ain't going to be sleeping for long, honey. Wow, things have gotten, like, heating up in here. <laughs> okay, some of you could also be working with a fire sign, possibly Aries, Sagittarius, maybe even Leo. All right, uh, let's see. Let's pull you one more card, your very last card for my dear Scorpios here. Actually, we're just going to make sure... Double check on the signs. Oh, okay. Some of you could be uh, working with some earth signs here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. When it comes to earth signs, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, geez Louise, could you imagine a Capricorn and a Scorpio going, like, fighting? <laughs> My gosh. 
Uh, okay. However, this is somebody that is, uh, they're stable. Uh, something about a lot of passion going on here, Scorpio. Uh, even if you've been in that long-term relationship and, and, uh, hmm, this is a time of year, baby making season cards won't even stay in my hands. Look at that. What's that right there? Is that a bunny? What do you think about when you think about rabbits? I mean, we could go into the like the the dynamics of it, but I don't have time to do that right now. You know, you have the jack rabbits, you have the hare, the bunnies, you know, uh, whatever it may be. Also, too, something significant uh, happening in the springtime. So congratulations for our new parents out there. And it's just like I'm you, you could possibly be. Mm, yep. Babies, 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 babies. They could uh, be born in Earth sign as well, or possibly be born in May. All right. Uh, also, to your very last message here, I hope that this was helpful to somebody out there. I apologize if it's all over the place. Dragonfly right there. It says, you know who you really are. So who cares? And I know it's hurtful. Scorpios have feelings too, people. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, however, you have the dragonfly right there. That's, uh, you know who you really are, even though, and this is not saying that you're necessarily being manipulative, but you're having to wear that mask. And I've used this, you know, before, you know, if it's going to meet new people or if it's going out there, you want to, you know, keep yourself together. And it's just like, all right, I really want to like this person, but I'm just going to, mm-hmm. You know, uh, also to kind of like walking around on eggshells or maybe somebody feels like that they're doing that around you. Is this an illusion? Are you putting off a facade? Somebody may like point fingers or whatever. Not necessarily. No, it's because uh, you know how to uh, n not manipulate. People. So I know I already know someone is like, yes, they do, uh, Carolyn. Listen, when I'm talking about the mask here, this is having to, you could be an actor or an actress and you have to get it together and get the job done. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then it's just like, who knows the real me? Does anyone care to know the real me? You know, and being willing to take that off in order to let someone in is going to be very important for you, my dear Scorpios, when it comes to December 2020. So you know who you really are. And if somebody really cares about you or, or really interested in getting to know you, then they're going to want to get to know the real you too. All right. And I know that's very scary. Uh, somebody too here could be uh, putting on a mask on to certainly be manipulative, but that's a whole nother story for a different day. Thank you all so much. And I'll talk to you all later.